You've probably seen styrofoam in cups, packing materials, and insulation. But have you ever wondered how it's made? Let's take a look at the process behind creating this lightweight and versatile material. Styrofoam is a type of expanded polystyrene foam, or EPS. It starts with small beads made from a plastic called polystyrene, which is derived from petroleum, a fossil fuel. To turn these beads into styrofoam, they're first heated with steam. This causes them to expand dramatically, up to 50 times their original size. This expansion happens because the heat activates pentane gas trapped inside the beads, making them puff up like popcorn. Once the beads are expanded, they're placed into molds. Steam is applied again, causing the beads to expand further and fuse together, creating a solid block of foam. This step is critical because it shapes the material into forms like coffee cups, insulation panels, or packing peanuts. Styrofoam is made of about 98% air, which is why it's so light and excellent at insulating. The tiny air pockets trapped inside the foam make it a great material for keeping hot drinks warm or protecting fragile items during shipping. After the foam is molded, it's cut and shaped into various products. Because styrofoam is easy to cut and shape, it's used in everything from construction materials to arts and crafts. In construction, styrofoam is often used for insulation because it's great at keeping heat in and cold out. It's also a popular choice for packaging, as its lightweight helps reduce shipping costs and its shock-absorbing properties protect delicate items. While styrofoam is incredibly useful, its environmental impact is a concern. Since it's made from petroleum and takes a long time to decompose, improper disposal can contribute to pollution. Recycling efforts are growing, but styrofoam recycling can be challenging due to its lightweight nature and large volume. When styrofoam is recycled, it's often compressed into dense blocks, which are then melted down and reused in other products, like picture frames or baseboards. However, reducing styrofoam use and finding eco-friendly alternatives are important steps towards sustainability. So next time you hold a styrofoam cup or open a package cushioned in foam, you'll know the science behind its creation and why it's important to use it responsibly. Thanks for joining us on this journey to discover how styrofoam is really made. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing content.